proper inventory management is a critical aspect of running a successful restaurant. Managing your restaurant's inventory effectively not only helps control costs, but also ensures that you have the right ingredients and supplies available on demand to meet your customers' requests. I'll discuss the main points in this video. Establish an inventory system. That's the most important stage. Have a system in place. Be established in a well organized way. This includes setting up categories, types of items such as food and beverages, utensils, and cleaning supplies. Use something as simple as uh, Excel or Numbers or Google Sheets, but there are also a lot of software programs on the market which work along with your point of sale systems, it also helps you as well. There are cheap options and more expensive options, and depending on how sophisticated you want to get and how much work you want to put into it. Categorize your inventory. Divide your inventory into categories to make it easier to track and manage. Common categories like uh, perishables or non perishables, beverages, and kitchen utensils. And later subdivide them even further. For example, with perishables, you've got dairy, you've got vegetables, food supplies. Maybe you want to further divide into fish or poultry. In a way, they're easily categorized, depending on the size of your menu and the types of items you've got there. Determine the par levels. So you've got in your inventory, determine your minimum and maximum level. When you reach your minimum level, it's time to reorder and obviously not go beyond your maximum level. Now, this is the way you should do it in theory, but in practice, you know, there are times when you need to uh, make adjustments. For example, working hotels, situation where they've got several restaurants and functions. You may have a situation where you need a certain type of ingredient. Maybe they've got a certain style of food. They may have an Italian type night or something, or it means you need more extra pasta, or you may have some Indians or meat type of meat you need to use more than normal. Ensure that. You keep close contact with your kitchen department, large establishment that is, or your functions manager to ensure that you are ready for any surges in demand for certain type of ingredients. Happened plenty of times. Very important. I can't emphasize any anymore that you close contact because you'll get in a situation where morning of the, the function, there are 200 people in haven't got enough of a certain ingredient to cater for those people to make special emergency arrangements to ensure those ingredients are in on time. You don't want that pressure. At the same time, be very careful you don't go above a normal situation because you're spending cash and it sits there and costing you money. So it's a fine line how you do it. Close watch on your demand for certain ingredients to ensure your par levels are fairly accurate. Keep a close watch on your inventory levels, especially after deliveries, before you start trading in the morning. Keep track of inventory levels by conducting regular counts. Update your inventory after each delivery and sale to maintain accuracy. Do just do a, a rough recheck, maybe once a week. Then do a full inventory besides your restaurant on a monthly basis where you get back to. Now, there are other things you can do. Running totals, you can have a spreadsheet situation where you divide all your ingredients up. When you've got average levels of poultry, meat, fish, dairy, and you see the trends, how they increase or decrease over time. They're consistent. Obviously, the inventory levels are high. If there is a discrepancy somewhere where Maybe dairy products are much higher than normal. You've got to check it out. How much wastage, adjust your par levels, change your menu. So investigate those changes. So we did it every day, delivery, the totals on there. In fact, the amount, approximate amount used gives you a running total. But things are consistent. To prevent waste, we use the first out. So that you'd continue to rotate your stock, use older stock first so that things don't spoil. That's the best way of doing it, especially with perishables. 
um, people, some staff might get too lazy. They just throw things in there. They don't put things at the back. But the older stocks at the front. Build strong relationships with your suppliers. If possible, have contracts for certain types of goods so that costs maintained means your food costs are maintained as well too. Keep control on costs. Check your levels or what comes in. Compare them to your purchase order. Ask your suppliers to notify you of any discounts. You may have a special on uh, a certain type of ingredients to save you money. If you can utilize them for a special or something that lasts a fair while, it's not very perishable, you may be able to keep it for a while. Any way you can save money, use it. Keep open relationship with suppliers. Make sure you're getting what you pay for when you're receiving your items as well too. If your restaurant is big enough, you could possibly look at leverage technology. It also works for smaller restaurants too, depending on what technology you're using. So you can streamline inventory management, considering possibly a barcode system or dedicated inventory management software. But I found in most cases, the Excel type of spreadsheet numbers or Google Sheets can work best. But when you've got a good point of sale system, your sales, got a good recipe, you know what ingredients go where. So when your sales mix, you know which, how to deduct certain items from the stock level, you've got a theoretical level of stock. Way to compare it. And at the end of the month, compare actuals levels you've got from your software to see discrepancies. And you can investigate why that occurred. Monitor and minimize food waste by tracking items that regularly get thrown away. Adjust your med and your sizes accordingly. Maybe your portion sizes are too big. Customers regularly leaving half their steak behind or not have condition of their vegetables or whatever it may be. There are ways of monitoring it, regular contact, so you're not wasting things. So consider reducing the size of your portions. Maybe adjust your price accordingly. So you maintain your food costs. No wastage on that side. Train your staff on inventory management practices to ensure everyone is on the same page and contribute to accurate tracking. Surely you should have standard recipe cards. Know what portion sizes are they are. How are they doing them? Is it you know, are you, for example, you're dishing them out in special ladles. Is it uh, two pieces of this or three pieces of that? Look at the way they're plating the items on your menu. Is there a way to create a system that makes it easier to control? Two scoops of this or two pieces of that on each plate. So train your staff to know how inventory management works. And they maintain the correct portion amounts to ensure that you've got the right cost in your menu. Regularly audit your inventory data and analyze trends to identify areas where you can cut costs by optimizing stock levels. Maybe you could make adjustments to certain bar levels, reduce the amounts you're buying, make adjustments to your menu, like I've mentioned in the previous point. There are certain things you can do. Just keep a close watch, data the trends. Maybe you should be buying more because you may find you're running out of things too quickly. It means you're not your best sellers aren't selling well where you've got the highest margin. There are a lot of systems out there to ensure that identify any discrepancies and ways of making more money. Effective restaurant inventory management is essential for maintaining profitability and providing excellent customer service. By establishing a clear inventory system, by categorizing items, setting par levels, and utilizing technology, you can ensure that your restaurant runs smoothly, minimizes waste, and maximizes profit. Make more more money. Regularly review and adopt your inventory management process to stay ahead in the competitive restaurant industry. In these challenging times, that Inventory management, critical for success in the ever-changing restaurant landscape. Follow these steps. Ensure you maintain maximum profitability and train your staff accordingly. If you like this video, I look forward to your comments below. And uh, 
please subscribe to this channel.